What's going on guys? Today I'm back again with a LG Tribute HD uh, LS676 uh, Android version 6.0.1. As you can see this uh, device is currently Google account locked. Now I previously made a video uh, but except with that video you needed a Bluetooth headset. But in this video all you need is a, a, a steady Wi-Fi connection. Now um, once you have that Wi-Fi connection uh, connected uh, what you got to do is go back to the, the start of the screen all the way down to where it says accessibility settings bottom left hand and then from there you're gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says switch access now it gives you the option to turn it on but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna select settings now from here you get these options what you're gonna do is help or look for help and feedback from here look for about switch access for Android and you should get this to come up now from here um, just uh, play the video once you do that you should get an arrow to come up touch the arrow and select the three dots Now the video should play. Now we're going. To, what you're going to do now is select the arrow again, as you can see, it's right here next to the down or the dislike. And then from these options, select Gmail. Select Skip. And as you can see, it gives you options to uh, take me to Gmail or add an email. What you're going to do is you're going to add an email first. Yeah. And uh, if you have an e email. You can input it, but uh, what I would recommend you to do is select anything besides Google because if you use Google, it's going to take you to the prompt screen asking for the previous uh, email account. Um, but I have a Outlook account that's been previously created. Uh, if you don't have it, you can feel free to use this. And the email is Google Bypass. one two at outlook.com again that's google bypass one two at outlook.com and then the password is going to be bypass one two And what you're going to do here is uh, uncheck all these three boxes. This will just let uh, everything or make er everything easier just to, to get to the next screen. If not, it'll be downloading. Next. And as you can see, your email is added. What you can do from here is take me to Gmail. Once you're at this uh, screen, you're going to look uh, for the three dots on the top right hand corner. And then select settings you're going to do this again three dots and this time look for manage accounts continue all right now that we're here in the settings uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to general and on general look for apps you should be located at the bottom or towards the bottom as you can see these apps comes up what you're going to do is look for the three dots, again, top right hand corner, and look for show or show system, which would show all the apps installed. Uh, what you're going to do here is uh, close all or force stop all uh, setup wizards. Uh, you, might, you may have one, you may have two, you may have three, uh, depending on your device. As you can see, I have three. Force stop. From here, you're gonna go to, or go uh, look for Google, uh, Google Play. 
Google Play Store and we're gonna force stop and disable and then you're gonna do the same for Google Play service now if it doesn't give you the option to do this what you can do is look uh, look for the three dots top right hand corner and look for reset app preference and reset now it should make the option come up now if it doesn't like in this case what you're going to do from here is uh, as you can see the search menu and now if you don't have the search menu you might have to uh, switch the tab view what you can do is list view which uh, if you're here it won't give you the option to search just switch again tab view and it's back to where it was now if you have this already all you gotta do is search and what you're gonna do is input install install now and look for unknown sources now if, if this doesn't come up if you don't get to this uh, if you can't find this or if you can't get install, um, unknown sources to come up uh, you can also go to I'm gonna go to the beginning you can also go to uh, general and look for security it's the same thing but it's just for me that was just easier uh, but anywho since we're here uh, you can look for phone administrators and you're gonna as you can see this is enabled you're gonna disable it de deactivate and then from here once no, once you have that deactivated now we're gonna go back to apps uh, since we're looking for uh, Google Play services I'm gonna force stop this again since we can do that earlier what we're gonna do now is uh, disable Google Play now this time it should give you the option force stop and disable now once you have done this what you're gonna do from here is go all the way down back to the beginning Keep going, and then once you're back to the to the to the original screen of where you be, began, um, just hit next. Select your language, and this time instead of using Wi-Fi, we're going to turn it off, and we're going to proceed. Skip anyway. Now, um, I forgot to mention. Um, this would only work on uh, version 6.0.1 if you have like a Android version 7.0.1 it's gonna I guess it's gonna boot you back and, and it's gonna be a non-stop circle so it's not gonna work if you have a 0. Point, or a 7.0.1 this only works for the, uh, the Android version 6.0.1 just in case uh, it boots you back skip now it's gonna ask you for your name again like for the seven it's gonna do the same thing but uh, towards the end it'll kick you back but if you got a six this should work agree done and once you do that here we go we're, we're back to the to, to the menu um, before you uh, proceed with anything um, what we're gonna do is Go, go to settings and what you're going to do is do a, a factory restore so that way it will delete all information and just to um, double check that everything will be deleted now uh, in order for you to delete or reset the phone your phone would have to be at 30% now if you don't have a 30% just leave it charged and you should be fine but after you hit reset your phone will delete all information and from there, you will be able to uh, access the device. Uh, if you found this video helpful, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.